My next guest is a very talented and funny comedian. He starred in his own series last season called The Duck Factory, which was seen right here on this very network. He will be appearing in person with Rodney Dangerfield at the Universal, Amp Universal Amphitheater in Los Angeles on August 13th and 14th. Please welcome Jim Carrey. <laughs> Well, I'm real happy to be here in New York, you know. I uh, always try to adjust myself to my surroundings. That's why when I'm in New York, I'm never afraid because I know how to communicate with the street people. <laughs> hey, buddy. Do you find it unusually windy today? <laughs> now, I'm very flexible, too, which is good because if I get tired of this body, you can just slip into Sammy Davis Jr.'s. to go way back now. <laughs> you know, I think I've probably spent most of my life staring in the mirror. I have. But I'm not vain, you see, because I don't stare at myself. I stare at Leonid Brezhnev. Uh. Clint Eastwood. <laughs> Michael Landon smiling. James Dean. <laughs> E.T. the extraterrestrial. Terrestrial. Whoa. Thank you very much. Very nice. Thank you. Very impressive. I, I thought you were terrific on that uh, program, also Duck Fact. The Duck Fact. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was, was that a lot of fun to do? That was a great deal of fun to do. I loved it. Jack Guilford was especially fun to work with. Yeah, it was a nice idea, a nice yeah, show. Yeah, is it, is it difficult to do all of that stuff with your face? I know that sounds like a, a jerky question, but is it... Uh... Well, not considering I don't know how to do anything else, so I do that all day long. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's yeah. what I do. You know, so uh, I suppose if I, uh, if I wanted to, I could go into a different line, like sales or something. Uh -huh. You know, I could be a salesman. Sure. Yeah. An insurance salesman. Yeah. Can I, can I do my pitch for you? Yeah, please I... do. Okay, this, this would be my pitch. Hi, Jim Carrey. David Letterman? Yeah. I sell embarrassment insurance. Oh, good. <laughs> That's 
type of thing I could do. Yeah, you could do that pretty well. Yeah. Do, now, do you ever, do you ever, uh, of course, you're a very young man, but do you ever worry about uh, injuring yourself or getting old or any of that? To, to, you're very physical. Yeah, a lot of people say, you know, you're going to get old, you're going to lose the physicality and that, but I suppose, you know, I look at my father, who is a, a real interesting character, and I, I think, you know, even if I lose the physicality, I'm going to be a great character when I get old, you know? Like, my father is the happiest man on the face of the earth. That's great. He laughs after everything you say. Mm -hmm. And he's deaf in one ear, so he dips and laughs. Dips and laughs. Huh? <laughs> Seriously, the, the, only, the only time I ever saw my father serious was when he was trying to teach my sister how to drive a clutch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. No, this time. Let the clutch out slowly. Yeah, yeah, that's too bad. That's I want to be. What, yeah. I want to be exactly yeah, like my father. Yeah. You think well, I will be? I, I think you got a good shot. Huh? Uh, <laughs> you'll be in uh, Los Angeles August 13th and 14th. Jim Carrey, nice job, Jim. Oh, good to see you. you. Come back anytime. We'll be back with uh, Johnny Blackwell.